to something Go be smart, bank is calling On your pipe, he's my short till we are born So exciting, what do you want to know? Welcome back on 99.5 FM. Is Adele? You are locked into when you just listen to Up to Something. Yes, that was done by Ayanya, trained on Jazzy and Dr. Seed. What's up, OB, for though? Well, I'm good. Okay, you got this is. Talk for us? Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is Career Talk with me, Money Money Wendy, and today we're talking about five rules of branding that will make you a sought after superstar. Now, when I'm talking about branding, branding refers to your niche your identity, that distinct quality or that distinct content that people can identify you with. That is what branding is. Now, the five um, the five rules of branding that will make you a sought-after superstar, we have number one, which is don't have a generic name. When I say generic, it means um, general name. Like, say, for instance, having a name like pet.com, tools.com, carpenter.com. No, don't have a generic name. You have to have a distinct name, something unique, something that stands out. Say, for instance, like Yahoo, eBay, Forbes, things like that. It could be an acronym or whatever, but it has to be something that is very unique. And when people hear it, they think of you first. So whatever you do, don't have a generic name. That's the first one. The second one is the less you offer, the more you are remembered for. Lots of people go try to build your brands, trying to do so many things at the same time. You're a beauty therapist, you're a makeup artist, you're a fashion designer, you're selling perfumes, you're doing too many things. You need to find one thing that people can identify you with and then later on you can marry all the other things under that one umbrella but remember the less you offer the more you are remembered for and the third one is if you want to expand launch launch a separate brand now it's still talking about number two if you want to expand say for instance you're a beauty therapist and then you want to go into fashion designing and then you're thinking of starting fashion designing under your beauty therapist brand don't do that Start your fashion designing brand under an entirely separate brand or a separate umbrella. And then you could use your credibility with your brand as a beauty therapist to direct some other customers to your fashion designer brand. So that is how you're going to do it. And the fourth one is promote what you do, not what you are selling. Yes, you have to give people content for free. You have to let people trust you. And that's one of the reasons why most people who sell products on social media are not able to make sales because you're so focused on selling, but you don't give people content. You don't give your followers value for even following you for free. So you have to give people value for following you for free first, win their trust, engage them so that they can decide, okay, if it's time to buy from you, they will buy from you. So promote what you do rather than focus on what you're trying to sell. And the last one is ratings and reviews are your salespeople. So always try to engage people before you start advertising your product or whatever. Try and engage people. Try and have people come on your page, drop good comments, drop great feedback because the more ratings and reviews you have, the more outsiders can come on your page or come into your company or whatever and see that you already have... um, You already have an audience who are interested in what you're doing and then they will be able to interact with you. And at the end of the day, all this is still going to yield you sales. So if you do either of these five things, then definitely you are going to be a softer brand, um, give or take two or three years from now. Or hopefully a year from now if you stick to it. There you have it.